Hello, Internet. Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. This is Wild Hunters by Firestyle. I'm featuring this game here on the channel in an effort to bring you more free, independent games. This game's featured over on Yo-Yo Games' sandbox site, and I first learned about it on Terry Cavanaugh's Free Indie Games. Wild Hunters was made using Yo-Yo Games' Game Maker, and it appears to be the first original concept game from Firestyle. Looking at his profile over on Yo-Yo Games, it looks like he's definitely made a lot of really interesting things. Some Kirby games, Crash Bandicoot, Mario, a lot of that stuff. And that's a lot of what you do get over there from the amateur guys who are just trying their hand at game making on Yo-Yo Games sandbox site. But a lot of those games are really, really fun. Just because they're using someone else's character and someone else's IP doesn't mean that they don't have solid, solid game mechanics and fun gameplay. I wanted to give you guys a quick summary of my first impression of Wild Hunters. I'm not live commentating the footage that's going on right now. This is footage that I gathered while I was actually experiencing the joy of this game earlier on. Wild Hunters is a near-perfect recreation of a 1990s-style mascot platformer. The game's main character, Saru the Monkey, would definitely fit in with the crowd of mascots that was emerging in the early 90s. I could see him standing shoulder to shoulder with the likes of Bubsy, or Blinks, Gex the Gecko, Arrow the Acrobat, Alex Kidd, Glover, Awesome Possum. I mean, the list goes on and on. We were being inundated with mascots back then as everybody searched to find the next Mario Brothers. But if the mascot crush of the 90s taught us one thing, it's a cool mascot does not a game make. And it seems that Firestyle knows this. I don't know if this guy is six years old, 16, or 60, but he clearly is a student of classic gaming and he understands what makes a good platformer. In this case, it's the mechanics. The jump feels great. Jumping in platformers is one of those things that you just have to get right. And in this case, I would say that Saru's jump is perfect. He's even got a little bit of a glide where he spins his tail like a helicopter blade. It's wonderful. You then build on that fantastic base with other cool mechanics like the ability to pick up enemies with your tail and fling them, the ability to get power-ups and then bank them for later use, puzzle solving in the levels. It is just a wonderful, wonderful experience. The graphics are perfect. My only complaint being that there is no option to change the resolution. The game will essentially scale to whatever size you actually size your window to. This will mean you'll get some loss of fidelity in the graphics, but that's a really small complaint in the end for a free title like this. I have to admit that I have had a fantastic time while playing this game. I do plan to go ahead and play it through to completion, but I wanted to get this video out there so that everyone could see this wonderful gem of a game that I have been enjoying. Wild Hunters is definitely worth your time. Check it out on Free Indie Games or over on Yo-Yo Games Sandbox site. Both of those links will be in the description below. If you've got a couple of seconds, let me know what you think about this slightly different style of short form first impression. You can do that with a like, a dislike, or a comment on this video. I hope to use this style of video for all free indie games that I profile in the future. The fact of the matter is, 15 or 20 minutes of playthrough could expose you to 80, 90, 100% of many of these free titles. And rather than spoil it for you, I'd just like to give you a quick and concise first impression. And of course, the bonus to this is that I can do a lot of these videos at one time, bank them, and then dole them out to you in a controlled fashion so that I keep a nice, constant drip of Big Dave going directly into your veins. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. I am your perfect drug. And until next time, take it easy.